There's some more breaking news coming in. This is amid the Russian-Ukraine war. We're learning that a Russian military jet has crashed a plane with Ukrainian prisoners. It's uh, crashed and six prisoners of war have been killed in the crash. Uh, specifically, six crew members and three others have been killed in the crash. Those are the details that are coming to light. Uh, this, though, was a Russian military plane, which was carrying 65 prisoners of war in total. It was actually returning to its airfield in the Belgorod region. The incident reportedly occurred at around 11 a.m. local time. But it's important to note that the cause of the accident is yet to be ascertained. As, uh, as per the details that are coming to light, we do know that authorities are investigating the cause of the crash and a special military commission is also on the way to the crash site. That is what the defense ministry had said. But again, on board, you had about 65 prisoners of war. It's believed that many are, have been killed in the crash. But to get more specific details, we'll connect with a reporter right now. Uh, my colleague Rish Rishabh joins us. Rishabh, what do we know about the death toll and what do we know about the investigation? Now that a Russian plane uh, carrying military, uh, it's a military transport plane, uh, which was uh, taking uh, mostly the prisoners of war of Ukraine uh, in Russian plane, and this has, this has crashed uh, near the Belgrud region uh, of bordering Ukraine. There were 65 people on board, and they are expected to be dead. Now the report suggests that all the people who were on board uh, this Russian military plane has been reported dead. Most of the uh, passengers on this train were prisoners of war from Ukraine who had been captured by Russia. Absolutely, Rishabh. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll continue to return to you for more details. But I think what's also important to note here is that the Speaker of Russia's lower house of parliament has accused Kiev of shooting down the plane. So this might just be another fresh flashpoint between the two countries. But with